And I think for us as humans, we, we forget that when we give our hearts or open our heart to people, that there takes a certain amount of vulnerability. You know, Peter had to be vulnerable. He had to be vulnerable, first of all, to remember that he had already denied Jesus and he had already made these mistakes and Jesus is like, do you love me? He had to be broken and vulnerable. And you have to be, whether it's spiritual, whether it's friendship, whether it's relationship, whether it's even just a daily interaction with someone that you may work with. That vulnerability is important. And, and we as people who are broken, human nature is broken. You know, I, as a queer person, as a drag performer, my friends that are trans, perform, you know, trans people that are performers, they were broken. The church broke them. Families broke them. Society, political agendas have broken them and have torn them down and caused so much pain and heartache. And it's hard as a queer person when you stand and whether a congregation or even in your home, um, in your hometown, to know that there are people that look at you differently because you are different, that you may love someone who may be the same gender or that you may not even love someone. It is a hard thing. And I can tell you that that brokenness and that vulnerability can create some amazing things.